today we're checking out a new service out of the UK called the Retro Store. Now these guys promise to send you three hand-picked used records every month selected by an expert tastemaker. We'll see what all that is all about coming up right after this. Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. Time to kick back, relax, and talk music on this, my favorite night uh, of the week. As I said in the intro, um, I was approached recently by this company out of the United Kingdom called The Retro Store to see if I would be willing to try out and test their services. Of course, I said yes. I got my notes here. This whole thing about um, uh, music being selected for you by an expert tastemaker really piqued my curiosity. So I got the box down there. Let's open Open it up and see what these fine folks sent me all the way across the Atlantic. Okay, looking over their website, the Retro Store says it offers mystery boxes containing either vinyl, cassettes, or classic video games. While the cassettes sound interesting, I myself chose the vinyl set. It says here, three amazing records delivered every month. Scrolling down a little more, it says here, uh, one month costs about 25 pounds plus shipping. 25 pounds works out to $45 Canadian or about $35 US. Let's go down here a bit further. The website uh, promises three hand-picked hand-picked albums that fit perfectly into your musical tastes. Each box comes with a handwritten note from your very own taste maker. Now, since no one from the retro store asked me about my musical taste, I'm even more, I'm even more curious to see what they sent over. Anyway, here is the uh, handwritten note. Uh, retro store, welcome to the club. It's great to have you. Well, thank you very much, Retro Store. It says uh, 233 RPM, which I uh, suppose is me. Peter here, owner of the Retro Store, and I hope this box of LPs finds you in one piece. I'm, I'm assuming I not mean one piece, but the box of records being in one piece. Enclosed is a one off box of records from the UK as we just start shipping to the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, so expanding worldwide. We hope you enjoy. Scottish streets, your pals at the retro store. So they're from Scotland. Ooh, I like Scottish streets. Let's see what's in here. Um, some uh, sour type candy. Got two of those. Can't get these here in Canada, so that's cool. And um, this as well. So who doesn't like sweet treats? So let's see what he sent over. Again, without asking for my musical tastes. This first one is Paul Simon. I actually don't have any Paul Simon in my collection. I was thinking of picking up Graceland. The jacket is in a remarkably, really good condition. Here's the album and the old CBS label. Let's see what sort of condition it is in. And I gotta tell you, this is an immaculate, immaculate condition. It's gonna say a very good plus, but it might even be better than that. I don't see any scuffs on here at all. What else do we have in here? The Prince's Trust collection. So this is a compilation featuring Dire Straits, Jimmy Page, Status Quo, Duran Duran, Eric Clapton, Phil Collins, uh, Genesis, Jethro Tull, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the Prince's Trust. This was, I believe, a charity. <laughs> Uh, okay, double album, Gatefold Sleeve, with a lot of the artists that participated in here. Two record set, uh, UK pressing. And again, I'll just check out the quality of the records. This is the paper sleeve, probably would have come in. A couple minor scuffs, nothing really noteworthy at all. Definitely VG+. Plus. And finally, this is the third record in the package. This is Nelson. Nils Lundgren, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. I'm not sure uh, what this is. Looks interesting, the jacket is in um, great shape. Again, this is a UK pressing on ANA. I'll try this one more time. Nils Lofgren, Nils Lofgren, I'm not sure. Niles, Nils Lofgren, Nils. <laughs> Please, someone out there in YouTube line, correct me on the pronunciation. But again, a new artist uh, to me is not something um, I ever, I am ever opposed to. I love checking out new music. Okay, there you go. Three records selected by an expert tastemaker. I mean, how do I personally feel about these sorts of clubs? Um, I'm good generally 
with selecting my own music. I mean, I love hearing from you guys and getting new stuff in the mail all the time. That's uh, very exciting. But in terms of these clubs that offer you um, selections every month for um, random surprise mystery boxes, I think those are in a lot of ways suited to people starting to build up a record collection and kind of trying to determine their own taste and what they're getting into. Um, but obviously it's a growing service. and There's many, many, many thousands of people out there who are really digging this stuff and into it. So more power to all these companies sort of uh, riding that wave and helping get uh, particularly younger people into the hobby of collecting records. Okay, guys, let me know what you thought of today's episode. Mystery Box, is it good? Is it bad? Have you heard of any of these artists? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, 33 years. Until next time, keep on spinning. <laughs>